I'm Laura from Garden Sanity. In this video, I'm showing you two easy ways to protect your dried limelight hydrangea tree flowers from heavy snow. And this works for your limelight hydrangea shrubs, too. Limelights, unlike other panicle hydrangeas, like the little quick fires you see here, tend to droop with heavy snow just like they do with heavy rains, as I showed you in a previous video, which I'll link to at the end of this video. You can tell the snow will be heavy versus light and fluffy by looking at your evergreens. If the boughs are drooping, like this cedar tree is starting to do, it's going to be a heavy snow. So far, as this snow is falling, the limelight hydrangea tree looks good overall. Remember, the dried flowers left on the tree are light as a feather, so they will be weighed down by this snow. Some stems are stronger than others, as you can see here. Others are drooping quite a bit. The easiest way to remove snow from limelight hydrangea flowers is to use your hands. This works perfectly for lower branches on a limelight hydrangea tree and for many of the branches on your limelight shrubs, depending on their height, of course. Let's look at this stem and how it curves downward from the snow-covered flower head at the end. Hold the stem near the flower head and gently shake to remove the snow. This stem isn't as curved now, with less weight pulling it down. No doubt you have a combination of drooping stems as well as sturdier upright stems on your own limelight hydrangea tree or shrub. It's a good idea to remove the snow from all of the dried flower heads, even if they're on strong stems, especially if, like me, you're trying to keep them for winter interest in the garden. A lightweight broom works great to gently tap the snow off the tall flower heads, but don't tap it too strongly or off come the flower heads. Use the tip of the broom to get the snow off. Tap on the side of the flowers or underneath them. It's important to use a lightweight broom so you can easily maneuver the broom around, plus your arms won't get tired as quickly. You might not think of a broom as a garden tool, but it works. You can use a broom to remove heavy snow from your shrubs too. Remember, losing a flower head or two while removing the snow is much better than a branch breaking from the weight of the snow later. Now for many of you in the northern states or places where you receive lots of snowfall during the winter, it doesn't make sense to keep the dried flowers on for winter interest. Repeated snowfall on the flower heads will pull on the branches and possibly break them. In areas with ongoing winter snow, I recommend pruning your limelight hydrangea tree or shrub in late fall. Another option, which you can also do in late fall or now if you're worried about the branches being weighed down, is to trim off just the flower heads and then wait until late winter or early spring to do your pruning. I'm out here early this morning. I couldn't wait to see how pretty everything looks. I'm sure later this morning, there will be sounds of snowblowers and shovels, but right now it is so peaceful and quiet. I wish you could inhale this crisp, fresh air. It is wonderful out here. It looks like the limelight hydrangea tree came through the storm just fine. I only see one or two drooping stems, so I'm happy about that. I'll get the broom out later and knock off the snow again, but right now I love how pretty these flower heads look with the snow on them. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, I'd love to know if you leave the dried flowers on your limelight hydrangeas for winter interest, so let me know in the comments. So this snowstorm was definitely a surprise. I'm in southern New Jersey, zone 7, and last week we had a warm and rainy week. The day before the snowstorm, it was 61 degrees. So much for the rainy and warm winter season that was predicted for our area. And we're getting another round of snow tomorrow. But I love snow, having lived in New England for many years, so I'm enjoying this very, very much. Be sure to check out my other Limelight Hydrangea tree videos, and until next time, happy gardening. <laughs>